want to first, I'm going to show you how to make these inventory labels, these QR coded inventory labels. These labels are part of our inventory system. They're an optional part of our inventory system, but they're freaking awesome. And what they do is it's a QR code. And then, so it shows you the length, it shows you the size of the roll, it shows you how much is left in it, what, you know, what um, type of film the roll is. And you can actually scan this QR code with your phone. And I'm going to show you real quick just um, what pops up. So I'm just scanning it with my phone. You can see it pops up a little thing. I click it. And boom, I have the information on this roll um, right there in front of me. And then I can hit manage and it's going to open that roll in TintWiz. And I can go from there. I can check it out. Um, if it's going to an installer, I can check it in. I can see what's left on it. I can view the whole history and so on. I can update the inventory and then I can also print a new label. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Let's get started. We'll jump into TintWiz app itself and these labels that I mentioned earlier. I want to start there. I want to start with the inventory. The inventory is a new feature in TintWiz. It does not require using these labels, but the labels are one aspect of it that I think is freaking awesome because I know I would have loved to have these labels um, about five years ago. So I'm going to jump into the inventory section. So in the inventory, you can see Hooper Optic Ceramic 40. This is a role that I put into inventory on last Thursday's Tint Wisdom. And I'm going to show you, let, we're going to start by adding a brand new role in here. So I'm going to click add role. I'm going to show you how easy it is. We're going to start from fresh. So let's say the roll width is 72 inch. Let's say the roll length is a hundred feet. We're going to skip the core weight and full weight for now. Those are um, that is a way, the weight is a way that you can keep track of your film. Um, it's freaking awesome. If you know your core weights and you know the full weight of the roll, then at any point you can weigh your roll and the TintWiz is going to tell you how much film you have on that roll down to the linear foot. Um, the roll cost is also a cool feature. I'm going to just put in a random cost in here. Let's just say this roll is $1,600. This is just a way that you'll be able to see your cost per square foot on rolls as you're using your inventory. And then as far as the film type goes, I'm just going to select a film from here. I'm going to select a Hooper Optic film. Um, we do have all the films preloaded. And if you if you work with a film that you don't see in TintWiz, shoot us a message in the support area that's on the bottom left right here in the live chat. We'll add it. So for this one, I'm going to add a roll of Ceramic 70. You can see that the inventory code is um, 10,002. That's because it's the second roll I'm adding into inventory. And I'm just going to hit save roll. And now I'm in that roll. This is an overview of that roll of film. So Brian asked a question. I'm going to throw it in here and just uh, let me move this up. So Brian asked, should we be saving cores so we can zero them out when weighing future rolls? So, okay, so what you want to do is you want to start collecting your core weights and know what the weight, the core weight of a roll of film is. So let's say you have a roll of like Lumar DL05. You can weigh that core when it's empty. You know your core weight. Then you can weigh the film when it's a brand new box. And that way, when you're putting it in the inventory, that's set. And then as you use that film, if you just want to weigh it, you type in the current weight and it's going to tell you how much film and update that amount of film left in the box. When that gets down to zero, um, it gets down to zero, you're done. And, um, you know, you're zeroing out your roll as you use it. So when there's nothing left in there, that's when it gets zeroed out. But you definitely want to start collecting your core weights. And that um, the core weights are stats that we're actually collecting and we're going to be able to supply. So you won't have to enter all your own core weights. But at the moment, if you want to use the core um, you would be the one weighing it and um, entering those weights in there. You'll always have that option. Now, if you, we got to get to this label, but I want to mention the scale. If you need a scale, if you want to use the weight system on TintWiz and you need a scale, jump into the support area, shoot us a message. We'll mail you a scale. Pretty easy. And yeah, Brian said that the Core weights are pretty consistent across particular brands. They absolutely are. So once you know one of your cores, as long as, you know, pretty much like, like Brian's saying, the same cores used across, like, like Lumar is going to have pretty much the same core. Maybe their security films, certain roles would be a little different. But for the most part, 
your films are going to be the same. So once you know the weight of one core, you're pretty good to go. You can start your weighing process. So if you want to scale, um, you can buy the scale on Amazon and um, don't have the scale handy to show you which one it is. But we'll mail you one for absolutely free. All you need to do is ask and support. We'll mail it to you and it's really our pleasure. So don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Now let's get back into this roll of film. Now, what we've created over here on the bottom right, you can see where it says label. Okay, I'm gonna click that label, and that's gonna show me the information on the film. So it's showing me, you know, it's Hooper Optic Ceramic 70, 72 inch roll, 100 foot roll, and there's 600 square feet available. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit print. And I'm gonna print, and I have a label printer right over here. And there's our label. From this roll. Let me get back in here. I have a background. So there's our label. So we just printed that label, and that is roll number 1002. And you can see that right there next to Hooper Optic Ceramic 70. Now, you can stick that on the side of the box, and then at a glance, you're going to know exactly what's in that box. Now, let me show you what happens here. So in that roll, So, let's see. got a lot of windows open. So I'm going to hit done. And now I'm going to show you what you can do with this label. That's pretty cool. So this is on the side of your box. Now, if you want to pull this up on your app, all you're going to do with any iPhone or any iPad is you're just going to open your camera, just your camera. You're going to, and then you're going to see it pops up You're going to hit that button. And now the, you're going to see that film that we just added in there. Now I can click the manage button, okay? And I can like check out the roll, which means that I'm taking possession of it. So I'm gonna show you the little checkout button right there, which um, you can also see at the, you can also see in here. Right now I have that roll checked in. So I can click that checkout button and I can take possession of it. And when I do that, I can, you know, if like right now I'm up, like I'm checking it out. So there's still a hundred foot, but I want to show you when I check this back in, let's say now there's only, let's say 60 feet left on the roll. So I enter that in, I hit update roll. Okay. So now I've updated that roll. I'm going to refresh it on the desktop and that's going to show you how the desktop and the, um, app sync together. You can do anything you want from any device and they're always going to come together with the same information. And now you can see on my screen that there's only 360 square feet left on that roll. Now, if I go down to label, I can print that label. Boom. And I can see that now on that label, I can stick that label onto the box. And I'm going to be able to see right there at the bottom that there's 360 square foot left on this roll. So I can just stick that over the previous label. And at a glance, you can look at any box you have and know what's on it. You can update it from your phone. You can update it from your computer. I mean, you're like, let's just say you have an installer, you have somebody remote and they're, they're going to a job, they do the job. And now they're going to, you know, they're going to put that film back in their van or their vehicle. They're going to update how much film they used. You, from anywhere you want, can just check the app and you're going to be able to see the history of that film, how much was used, how much is left on it, and so on. And as an installer, they're not, I mean, how many times have you popped open a box of film, looked at the core, and tried to guess how much film's left on that core? You just kind of pop it open, you got to pop open every box. You have a bunch of boxes, you're popping open tops, kind of looking, and you're going, all right, popping open, like, you just look at the side of it and you just stick an updated label on it. Now, the printer I'm using to do this is, is right here. Now, this is the printer. Now, a couple things about this printer. Number one, this isn't the only printer you can use. You can use any label printer you want, pretty much. Number two, you can get this label printer free by going into our support area, clicking on the live chat, and asking for a label machine. That's how easy it is. And we're going to send you a label machine and it's completely free. We're also going to send you a ton of extra labels and a scale in case you want to use the weight system. And uh, that's that simple. Now, something extra cool about the printer that we're sending that we recommend using, this Brother printer, okay? It connects wirelessly to your phone or to your computer. So you don't actually have to have 
any wire from your computer to this. It connects via Bluetooth, it connects via Wi-Fi and so on. So what that means is you can be using your phone, okay? You can do everything you need from your phone and you can have this printer set up anywhere and it'll, you can just hit print and it's gonna print from your phone automatically there. Super simple, like the easiest thing to set up. That's why I wanted to go with this printer. And the other crazy cool capability of this printer is you can plug it into a wall charger, but it's also battery operated. So you can put a battery in here and then you can use this remotely, like so easily on a battery with no wires or anything and be printing labels, whether it be at your shop or you actually have this on the road and you update your labels um, on the fly. Like super freaking cool. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm excited to get some of these label printers um, in, you know, in TintWiz user hands and um, hear some feedback on it because this is game changing. So now I'm gonna look into the comments. Oh, Brian, game changer. Yes, you took the words out of my mouth. Thank you, or I took the words out of your mouth. Friggin' definitely a game changer because again, inventory, I mean, it's such a complicated thing to keep track of every roll, how much films use and so on. Now I'm gonna show you one more thing that's really cool about this inventory. There's a lot to it, but um, I kinda wanna show it to you in bits and pieces because while I don't wanna overwhelm you with how much cool stuff there's in here, but there's one more thing that I haven't you know, displayed yet on the inventory last week or this week. But right here on the upper right, it says click to enter. You see where it says, um, let me see right here. See where it says brand, uh, price per square foot? And then over here, it says click to enter. So if I click to enter right here, I can actually set in my price per square foot. So let's just say normally, this is ceramic 40. Normally, let's say I charge about 1250 a square foot for this roll. I can actually set that now as a pre-filled in price per square foot. And then anytime you're doing a quote with Hooper Optic Ceramic 40, it already knows the measurements because you type them into the project. When you select that that's the film you want to offer as one possible solution, it's going to automatically calculate your square footage for the job with your price per square foot. And you can see there's little question marks here and we put notes in here to kind of guide you along the way. So this is your retail price for the film type. It'll be used to calculate prices on your quotes. Please set this as your final price per square foot for this film. Now, something to note, this is a convenience feature. You can set it, and then anytime you pick up that film, it's gonna automatically calculate that price in your proposal. But when you're doing that proposal, it's as easy as backspacing and changing that pricing for that specific proposal. So if you're doing a proposal, and on that proposal, you actually wanna charge $14 a square foot, you can do it straight from your proposal. You don't have to change the master setting or anything like that. You can go up, you can go down in price, you can do whatever you want, but by default, you can set a price for your films in the inventory system. Now there's more to the inventory, inventory system that's on the way, we're super excited about. Um, we're rolling it out in stages. Some of those things are gonna be like a cut sheet that's gonna actually you know, build you your most efficient way of cutting and tell you which rolls to use and so on. So that's the basically phase two of the inventory system. But right now, as is, uh, we built a extremely robust, simple to use and all-inclusive inventory system. So um, really excited to get everybody on the system. And like I said, please don't hesitate to use the support area and just let us know if you want to scale or a printer. Um, we appreciate you, you know, taking that leap into using technology to better your business. And we're here to support that every way possible. So if we can send a printer and we can send labels and make that one step easier, 